In this video, we have massive news updates when it comes to the Halo 3 flight review, possibly matchmaking coming to the ODC firefight, why MCC's hit registration is just a bit off, some brand new customization for Halo 3 and CE, along with the new season content and how challenges will work moving forward. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again give you another news information video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel guys. Helps more people stay in the know with everything going on in Halo. So let's get right into the content here. So this is the 1st of July. So you know what that means? We got a big boy thick update. Oh yeah. Damn. Damn boy. Damn boy he thick boy. That's a thick ass boy! Damn! Ba -ba! When it comes to the development blog for the month of June, let me tell you, there was a lot of things covered. As I mentioned at the top of this video, guys, those are just some of the things that I feel like are the most important things to let you guys know. This needs to be broken down in multiple videos, how big this blog is, how many topics it talks about. So we got to make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys, to keep up to date when those videos do go live as well. So let's get into the nitty gritty awesomeness. Since there is so much information in this video, I'm going to leave some timestamps in the description and on this video, guys, if you want to skip to the part you want to listen to, but guaranteed you're going to want to listen to this entire thing because all this stuff is all the must-know content you're going to need to know with the MCC update coming for Halo 3 PC. But as we all know, the Halo 3 flighting ended on Monday, June 29th, sadly, but we had a couple, like two extensions actually on that flight with nearly 350,000 insiders invited to this flight and roughly 4,000 tickets submitted submitted to this as well and the team was able to knock out nearly 100 bugs including things like improved the uh, muffled audio sounds for weapons and voiceover and resolving player emblems so they appear accurately on characters previously the emblems were just showing up randomly however they wanted to show up on the character for some odd reason but luckily that was fixed because customization is super important we will be getting into this video a little bit later but the customization coming for Halo 3, new customization, I mean new customization for Halo 3 and especially for CE. And how it's all tied to the season and challenges system. Moving forward, they also do mention a little bit about ODC Firefight and how that's going to be coming into the game, guys. And there's a little bit of an interesting addition, I think, that's very important to take note of. And this is one little sentence, but I think it will make a huge difference when it comes to experiencing Firefight for ODST. It's saying that the team has recently hit an important milestone in updating the networking model for this release on the MCC. Currently, ODC doesn't really have any networking model unless they're talking about like how you can activate your challenges through the game, but I don't think there's any networking involved with that really. So this has to make me think there will be matchmaking for ODC Firefight, which will be absolutely amazing. They'll get so many more people to play it. I guarantee that once people get a chance to play, they'll realize, wow, this is probably the best Firefight that's ever been in the franchise. They also link to Unishack's community post talking about ODST and how obviously since there's gonna be people on Xbox who currently own it and if ODST Firefight's coming in do they have to pay for it? Well basically it's stated out right here. If you already own ODST on for the MCC the addition of Firefight for ODST MCC will come with no extra charge. When it becomes available your game should update to add it without any fuss and if you don't own ODST on the MCC, its additional cost will be $5 for all platforms. So yeah, if your account already owns ODST for the MCC, you guys don't have to worry about any extra charges that's coming to you for free. Or if you have Game Pass, and you have a Game Pass Ultimate on PC, then you get the game anyways for your uh, monthly subscription anyway. So kind of a win-win there. Now here's the reason why I'm sure many of you are here, and that is the brand new season that's coming for the MCC, which currently is a work in progress name, not confirmed at the moment, but it's currently called the Sparks season. So you can see about that. Uh, but basically they go into details here. I'm gonna read exactly what they mentioned here, saying Max in this interview on the blog post mentions that when Halo 3 launches, so will our second season. Players will have the chance to unlock over 100 new items by spending season points in the first season, the only way to earn the 100 season points needed to unlock all the items is by earning XP, and beyond level 100, there are no more season points to be earned. With the launch of our challenge system, players will now have the ability to earn season points in campaign, firefight, and PvP, 
by completing weekly and seasonal challenges. In addition, some challenges will unlock items as well as XP. So now we have a big, big boy, content rich new season coming in for us guys. I'm assuming that uh, this is gonna be very heavy CE influence because we've seen from we've seen from the customization links, which we'll get into is very soon. Talking about how this is gonna be uh, Probably gonna keep us very busy for quite some time. It took me about two months to get through the 100 tiers for Halo Reach, and that was just playing multiplayer. But now you have you can gain XP for playing playing multiplayer, and also gain the challenges completed as well. Which ch some challenges have their own unique rewards tied to them as well. Now you're probably wondering, well, what kind of stuff can I get in the new season? Well. The rewards in Season 2 will include a combination of all new nameplates as well as new visor, weapons, and vehicle skins for Halo Combat Evolved. In future seasons, we will expand customization options and season rewards for each game. So it sounds like the new season is going to be very CE focused. You know, they did mention about how each season is going to have its own focus on each game. Uh, we kind of thought that was going to come with relaunch of every game, but obviously we're into Halo 3 now and we've only had one season which started back in December. December. And so I'm assuming that uh, probably next content drop off Halo 2, then we'll have Halo 3. I think they're kind of dropping the ball on this one. I'm not the, given this kind of customization in Halo 3, which is going to be the game that everybody wants to play when it comes to the MCC. Trust me, CE is great. I love playing the game, but we kind of had its fun in the sun when back in March when the game was released. And so uh, now a whole lot of people are grinding out CE at the moment as I'm actually kind of starting to f struggle to find social games now. But hopefully this new customization will bring people into the game and start playing. Now you're probably also wondering like, well, okay, so you can add on like cool new weapon skins and uh, vehicle skins and stuff like that. Like, look at this Warhog. This is awesome. Some, some big ass shark teeth on it. That looks freaking sick. Now there is a specific way how these will work. As I mentioned in the previous video, how user skins was added into the flight. You can enable it or disable it without really knowing what it meant. Well, basically what that is, is that user skins are a new form of customization for CE at the moment. You have new vehicle skins, weapon skins, visor skins for your Spartan and vehicles, and uh, you can turn it on and off. The way that these uh, camels are gonna work is basically uh, a player will picks up a weapon that has a custom weapon skin skin. The weapon will change its look to match that skin and other players will see this as well. If this weapon is dropped, it will retain the look of that skin until a, a player with a different skin picks it up, in which case it changes to a custom skin the player has set. Basically, you see a pickup weapon, it's gonna look exactly how you look, imagine how it's gonna look. You pick it up, it's gonna have your weapon camo on it, but then when you drop that weapon, it's gonna keep your weapon camo on it, and then once someone else uses it, then it switches to their camo. This also works for vehicles as well. Also keep in mind that you will be able to uh, you know, disable all these customization options if you want to, if you want to keep that classic look to your MCC games. But if you want to have some fun with it, you can enable, enable user skins and have just a good time right there. And I talked about updated new customization for Halo 3. Well, for the MCC, you'll be getting tertiary colors back into the game. So you'll be able to extra you know, stylize your Spartan orderly exactly how you would like. And also take note in these uh, screenshots that how much nicer the model is looking compared to the flight. They always get some major improvements uh, before release. And so these look pretty awesome. Glad to see this customization has come back uh, for Halo 3. Cause before remember that it was just like primary, secondary and a full entire armor set. So now we have individual armor pieces, all three color sl slots you can choose from. So I'm pretty excited about this. The next section on this blog that they talk about, it's called a swing and a miss. So basically they talked about the hit registration in Halo 3 and kind of just the MCC in general as it's had some issues when it comes to uh, replicating the OG feels of the hit re registration back in the day. We've seen videos of how it probably was a little more lenient in hit registration back on the 360 days compared to what the MCC is now. Uh, they say here saying that the MC is having uh, hit detection registration problems and how it's basically how they don't line up one to one with legacy and essentially it basically comes down to just updating these games to 60 hertz servers and having plus 60 plus frames kind of thing and basically there's a since these games were originally tied to 30 frames per second designed specifically for that frame rate on that console platform that they were able to get away with some kind of different kind of math where basically the older tick rates were about half as fast as they are now and how uh, basically it really kind of messes with the hit registration and so you're 
game is really up to date but then what happens is that you have to be extra accurate basically and so that's what kind of gives you that not so legacy feel 343 does go in discussing about how this is actually kind of a really big issue and a very big undertaking so it's sounding like with the release of halo 3 we'll probably won't be gaining much in the way of any networking updates when it comes to these mzc games as they pretty much just use the legacy code and just you know bump the frame rate bump the resolution and put it on 60 hertz servers instead of 30 hertz uh, tick rate that it's um you know just just little things like that are going to come up that you probably wouldn't initially expect i played plenty of the flight and like yeah the hit registration is a little bit more picky i would say when it comes to the mcc compared to how it is on legacy like 360 days xbox original days uh but it's still playable it's still fun um, you'll still have a great time, trust me. So it seems like they're adding in a brand new skull called Acrophobia, which we talked about in my previous podcast. I thought it was gonna be like extra fall damage or something like that, but basically, when you turn this skull on, it allows you to double jump and activate a jetpack, which seems to not really have much in the way of um, you know, resistance or fuel to worry about. It's much more uh, faster and agile than Halo Reach's uh, jetpack-like system. Basically, you said you can use it like a double jump or the jumper jumper system like you could for Halo Reach with using a jetpack. So you jump and then you press the jump again, hold that down, and you can actually just move about the map pretty much how you would feel like. In this video, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And like, this looks just fun. Like, this is actually just pretty awesome. I'm really glad that they added this uh, skull in. I might have some fun with it, trying to show you guys what kind of funky stuff you can play around with on this for sure. With the release of Halo 3 onto PC, it brings Forge with a whole new update, basically updating Halo 3's Forge to essentially what Halo Reach's Forge is. And Reach's will begin Forge as well, on top of Halo 2 Anniversary, getting Forge all three games on that update for Halo 3 coming to PC. Uh, there is one thing that we will mention though, that there uh, will not be including any file share upload on the PC at the time. Any content shared from Xbox can be downloaded to PC, but content created on PC can only be shared from that PC by manually copying over local files at this time. 343 stating essentially there is more work needed to be done to build up the infrastructure. I mentioned in a preview video that we're talking about this, that there was gonna be like a menu takeover as we have every time we have a new game coming in. Uh, they did mention about some leaks about how they're going to make it kind of Halo 3 themed. We don't know exactly but because it was uh, redacted at some points. Uh, but they also mentioned about certain kind of events like the Yappening Winter Contingency uh, and how those kind of, you know, play throughout the game uh, and so unlocking different challenges things like that you have to go to waypoint you have to find out on twitter looks like what they're gonna be doing now is funneling these kind of events through the challenge system so you can find out in game exactly what you need to do to get the cool thing which is exactly what needs to be done when it comes to this kind of system glad to see that happening uh, you can see some of these screenshots here that the new challenge system is gonna be great uh, you get to earn xp for doing various tasks in the game possibly if the calls for it earning certain items like weapon camos it looks like for this example probably some nameplates you can even highlight different kind of uh, challenges you would like so then you can probably make sure okay I gotta tailor my gameplay to this when I accomplish one two and three get that accomplished just for this uh, play session so that's really great to see uh, this challenge system is very well detailed it lets you know exactly what you need to do where you need to do it and so I'm really happy to see the uh, advancements they've made with this and with the flighting process it played out super well and I cannot wait to get a chance to make some more content on this kind of stuff, give you guys some tips and tricks on how to get through your challenges faster, you can earn up your XP, get through that season pass, and uh, keep playing some Halo. Oh boy, that was a big boy update, big boy video for sure. I probably had to cut out a few parts just to keep it within time. I wasn't able to capture everything that this blog post talks about, guys, so we will be making multiple videos on the same post so you guys can stay up to date with all the stuff within a normal bite-sized video so it wouldn't be like an hour-long thing. So, if you want to stay up to date with all the news and information with Halo. Subscribe to the channel guys. Keep yourself updated that way. If you enjoyed the video, learn something from it, make sure to tap that like button. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts on the customization coming in for the MCC and Halo 3 just in general coming to PC. I'm super excited about it. Halo 3 is my favorite game. I can't wait for this to happen guys. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Check out the videos on the screen if you're new to me or miss any content and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.